Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, this video is going to feature a slightly different array of vehicles for you. Um, this one is going to be mainly focusing around our vans, prisoner transport vans, officer minibuses and area cars. As you can see, I'm really excited for this video with my little jam on. Uh, let's stop that right there. So, um, again guys, welcome to this video. You might notice a slight change of the pips from last time. That's right, I got promoted. I'm now Chief Inspector of Media here at London's Calling, so I look over all the media production that comes from the community, this being one of them. So, my name's Chief Inspector Roberts, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the the vans that we have to offer and some of the area cars as well. So, we'll kick things straight off. This is the 15-plate Ford Transit van. Um, a lot of them are going to be very similar. You can see that most of these are Ford Transits. Um, they'll change in terms of interiors and textures to them uh, but most of the equipment and the lighting systems will remain the same throughout uh, so this is the 15 plate one this one's been in the server for quite a while it's got CCTV uh, visual and audio recording in it I'll just hop in first person quickly Ooh, put my finger away there we are and then you might be able to see it slightly better so it's got the two grill lights on the front um, overall bit more of an old one but this served us reliably for a few years uh, before we got some of the newer ones that I'll show you in a second. Let's take a look at the interior and again I'll hop into first person so you can see it a little bit better. There we are. So not the greatest of interiors. The mirrors do work though and you can um, take a look out of them. Um, and again it will have a cage in the back of it if I get that open. Let's just open all doors there, and you can see inside there, you got the um, the cages and two seats for officers to sit back when they are doing their observations on prisoners. Uh, let's have a look inside. So you'll notice a little note on the side of there. It's just a caution to those who are detained in here. A little bit of light reading for them, asking them if they've swallowed anything. Because obviously, if we do have anyone that has swallowed drugs, then we might need to deal with them slightly differently to we, that we were to our uh, our usual prisoners. Okay, moving on then. We've got the thir uh, so it's a 13 plate, a 63 plate uh, for transit. Again, it's got the um, the CCTV sticker on there, so it's all recorded and monitored in there. Interior-wise, um, same again. It's got a bit of a Ford one, but this is a slightly older vehicle, slightly older variant. Got the two grill lights in the front. And what you may notice about this one is it's also got two little beacons. That's right, this is our airport van. So it's usually used for patrolling around the, the London City airports and the surrounding airports, patrolling those areas. And as you can see, I might even be able to activate. There they are, the flashing beacons. I'll tell you what we didn't do on the other one. We didn't activate our ELS, did we? So let's turn that on. So you can see kind of if we have a little walk around as well. And I'll hop in first person so you can see it a little bit better. Um, you got the two flashing uh, grill lights at the front there, and then you got the main ones overhead with the beacons as well. I'll activate on this one again so that we're not missing anything out. There we are. Lights on, and you can see it, some of the ELS at the top is a bit more bulky. So um, it's a lot thicker than the other ones that we're going to be looking at. Um, and again, you got the two grill lights flashing away at the front there. Let's turn these on because, um, oh sorry, let's turn these off because I don't really want to be lagging as much as I can throughout the uh, video. And it's got its at scene lights, no rear reds, it's got the flashing brake lights but that is about it. Um, and same with this one, no rear reds but it does uh, keep the lights flashing at the back. Okay, moving on then. We're going to go on to some of our slightly newer vehicles now. We've got the 67 and the... Uh, sorry, I almost said 69 plate there. It's a 67 plate and a 19 plate. And we've got the 21 plate towards the rear as well. So this one's got a few more lights to it, as you can see on the side there. Um, and if we come around the other side, it should have them there as well. Um, Interior-wise, this one will be slightly newer, slightly more efficient. The mirrors still work on it. And if we just have a look at the interior very quickly. There we are. So, yeah. Uh, still quite an old interior. We'll turn the lights on. And as I said, with these ones, there's a slightly thicker light bar. Uh, until we get into like the 19 plate and the 20 plate, um, they don't really change too much. But we have got a few more flashing white lights there to increase our visibility. There we are. So, two, oh, sorry, four grow lights. Um, on the top bar and then two on the bottom. Two of them are blue lights, two of them are white and the white is usually used in the daytime. It just makes our presence on the road that little bit more visible. 
So with the equipment, I'll show you that all at the end because it is all the same across all these vans. They all carry the same amount of equipment um, and the things inside them are the same. So I'll show you that all towards the end. But for now, we'll move on to the 19 plate van. Again, you can see the lights in the grill there. They're a lot sleeker, a lot better looking in my opinion. And the light bar up here, these are the first things we notice. They are also a lot slimmer and a lot more sleek. I'll hop in first person again so we can get a better look at this vehicle. A very nice looking vehicle in my opinion. It's got the recruitment stickers on the side as well. And if we hop inside here, you can see, oh, someone's left a Coke can. Um, and they've also left a McDonald's cup. Not very good. Um, so we'll make sure to have a word with them when we get back to the station about leaving the vans in a dirty state. Um, you can also see there towards the left of the main screen that is the um, the lighting panel so we can push these buttons to to turn on our lights and activate different functions so the 909 mode will activate all of our blue lights and our sirens and then there will also be buttons for at scene lights alley lights um, and all the different functions that the van can do the main screen that you see there is our CAD system our console screen um, and basically what that does is it's a, it's a little tablet that sits inside the vans a lot of the newer vehicles have it and it just allows us to see information about incidents that we're attending before we get to the scene um, obviously not while we're driving because that wouldn't be very good but our operator maybe can have a look in or before we leave we can take a look and see um, what incident we're attending I'll turn the lights on first and then we'll look at the uh, the rest of the vehicle um, so the lighting system is a bit different on this one. I'm not too sure if it's supposed to be doing that. Um, there's having a bit of a static flash. Um, and then we've got some two little spotlights at the back there. Let's see if I can angle it. There you are. So they're flashing away. And then, again, the grill lights will be doing their own little thing. Let's take a look at the uh, the inside of this one. Because I think that's what we all want to see on this one. If I just open all the doors quickly. There we are. I'll hop around the other side first. We'll have a look around that side. And I'll show you that recruitment sticker as well that I was on about. So there's the recruitment sticker, recruiting for police officers, just to encourage a bit of um, applicants to come through. Uh, so you can see the enforcer there, again, carried on most of the vehicles, especially in the vans. Fire extinguisher, first aid kit hiding under the seat there. And you also have two components there to, um, to allow for easy storage and access. Looking at the back here, it's got a quick question for the officers transporting. Do we need to take this person to hospital or do we need to take them to custody? And it will be, it will, sorry, it will explain a little bit more on the sticker as to the signs and symptoms that we should be looking for. Same again on the back there. Um, oh, hello, I can't walk. Um, it's explaining about like uh, if they've got a head injury, then they should be going to hospital. Um, and just basically so we make the right decisions before we get to custody. That right there is a reversing camera, so we make sure we don't reverse into anything as we're coming backwards. And again, you can see there, have you swallowed any drugs? Um, I mean, they probably wouldn't tell us if they did, but should they do, then we might need to um, we might need to take them over to hospital so that we can get them checked out. And again, a nice reminder there, audio and video recording in progress. So, we will leave this one open and we're going to move on to the 21 plate vehicle. So, this, again, very sleek looking vehicle. This is the one we see getting used more and more often. Still got the reversing camera at the back there and a lot of the features remain the same. You've got your four grill lights there. I will open it all up and I'll turn on the lights as well. And you can see the interior of this one it looks a little bit fresher in terms of the, um, the system there. And you can also see as well, I'll just show you that again if you didn't see, as we get inside some of these newer vans and we turn the engine on, the screen it will illuminate as well. If it was darker as well, our 909 systems and things like that, our blue lights uh, panel, that will also illuminate. Um, I believe as well, and I'll try and demonstrate it, as we reverse this vehicle, we get a little reversing camera just uh, flash up. Um, I don't know how well it works. I haven't tried yet. I probably won't try it now because I will hit something and I will damage this lovely looking van, uh, which is not something I want to do. People leaving their McDonald's and Coke cups in here, as usual, we need to have some words and we need to get this sorted. Um, and like I say, that acts as a... Because uh, we can't really see out the back, it acts as a rear screen uh, for us so that we can see where we go. The radio up there illuminates so that we can uh, listen to the radio while in the uh, vehicle. Um, and that also means that we can use um, a little button on our steering wheel to communicate with the control room through that when we're driving so that we're not using our handheld device. So um, let's open up this uh, lovely, lovely van and we will see what it has to offer. So as I hop out here, we'll look towards the uh, the back of the van first. I'm going to have to run all the way around, aren't I? 
Here we are. Uh, same things in the back. Fire extinguisher, enforcer, first aid kit, and your two little uh, panels just there where all the road signs will be and things like that. This one's got a nice uh, blue floor. It's almost similar to the custody floors, I find. A nice yellow interior there. And as we come around to the back, a similar kind of layout. Uh, spaces for them to sit, as well as have you swallowed any drugs. And just letting you know that there's um, some recording in progress. And there's also a Police Scotland badge there for um, from when the mutual aid was going on uh, for COP26. Um, now, for these new ones that were implemented recently, you can find a TikTok uh, that will explain and just give you a little tour and a little fly around. Um, I'll leave a link to that one in the description. So if you want to check that out, then please feel free to go ahead. We're going to move on now to the mini buses, and ooh, I think we'll go for this one first. So this is one of our older ones. It's a 14-plate Vauxhall Vivaro, um, and I'll get inside it for you. The interior isn't much to show, um, but with this one, it's more used for officer transport than it is for prisoner transport. I'll turn the blue lights on there. You can see them flashing away. And again, we'll use this if we're ever transporting officers to or from stations um, if, or for large-scale events. So that is the 14 plate Vauxhall Vivaro. Uh, I'll open up the doors again, should it let me. Well, not much accessible, uh, sorry, not much accessibility on the side there, but we can certainly start climbing over seats. Uh, right, so, oh, I'll turn these ones off again. Again, I don't want my game to lag too much. And we'll have a look at the latest one, which is the, we're still sticking with the minibus theme. This is a Ford Transit, I believe it is. Um, I might have got that wrong. I probably have got that wrong. I'm not much of a vehicle person. Let's have a look, shall we? I had a feeling I had it wrong. It is a uh, Ford Tornio. I almost got it wrong again. So this is a Ford Tornio. Uh, and again, this is one of our newer ones. Um, it's a 68 model. Um, we'll have a quick look at the interior. Not a great deal to show for this one. Um, and again, it's more used for our prison, uh, sorry, not our prison transport, our officer transports. Now, for me, the thing that really stands out is these headlights, these daylight running lights. During the night, this looks absolutely amazing. There we go. We'll make it slightly darker so you can really see this vehicle come to life. The daylight running lights there um, just bring this vehicle a whole different look. It really is gleaming. The lights as well really shine this up. So if I was going to be uh, transported in anything, then this would be the one that I want. Um, and you can see the rear reds flashing away there as well. We'll open it up and hopefully the uh, side doors actually open on this one. So we are actually able to um, to access it from all sides, uh, which was an issue we were finding on the previous ones. Now I'm going to have to try and squeeze my way out of this one. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's the issue, I suppose, with leaving all the doors open. So, in terms of equipment in these vehicles, we've uh, been through it briefly. The Enforcer, First Aid Kit, um, and Fire Extinguisher. Other than that, not a great deal. It's got a few signs in there and things like that, but the main purpose of these is prison transport, so we want to keep the bulk of the vehicle free for that. I'll tell you what does have a bit more to it, though, are these lovely vehicles over here. Now, I'm not too much of a BMW fan, so bear with me if I get any of these models wrong. I believe the first one we're looking at is the 16-plate BMW F11. If I've got that wrong, please correct me in the comments. Uh, I believe I've got that right. Um, this is one of the older area cars we've got. Um, Interior-wise, it still looks as good as ever. Um, and I'll try and demonstrate that for you now if we can come into first person. If it lets me, let's try that again, shall we? So we'll step inside this vehicle. And you'll see, as I turn it on, it all comes to life. The CAD screen turns on. And it's a bit of an older CAD screen than we saw over there. Um, with this being a 16 plate. But it is a very nice looking car. I do like this one. Very classic CAD system there where we can update our status code. We can also access PNC and the uh, the jobs we've been uh, attached to. Um, and you can also see there the... Um, the lighting system panel that we mentioned before so we can click 999 and it will um it will turn on our lights we can click at scene and it will put on our at scene lights so i'll show you the uh, lighting on this vehicle and these are some of non-els variants i believe um now again the daylight running time uh lights are the ones to look at really i'll just change it to nighttime quickly so we can really see these come to life there we are and you can see they've got this lovely crystal white color to them um and i believe if i act yeah there you are the indicators as well um they don't activate how i thought they were going to but equally a really nice color to them 
Uh, we'll have a look in the boot of this one as well. If I pull it forward slightly, because I've tucked it right up against the wall, so I can't see. And there we are. So it will have its first aid uh, kits, fire extinguishers, everything that you would usually see. The area cars also carry stinger devices, which are tire deflation kits, which we chuck out in front of a vehicle and it will uh, deflate the tires slowly but surely. Um, very helpful in terms of bringing a pursuit to an end. So we assist our traffic colleagues with that. These will also carry breathalyzers. Now, breathalyzers are great fun to use. I'll show you a demonstration towards the end of how our breathalyzers work. But it's a great indication as to whether someone is driving a vehicle whilst under the influence of alcohol. Um, and a great little uh, device that we carry on us so that we can help our traffic colleagues deal with more important stuff. We'll head over then. So this is the BMW G31, I'm going to say. I might have completely butchered that. I hope I've got it right. And I've changed it to nighttime because I think the nighttime really brings out the, the reflection in these vehicles and the, um, again, the daylight running lights that they have on them. I'll hop in and we'll have a look at the interior and straight away you can see this is a lot more of a, um, a smooth interior. See if I can rotate the wheels so you can see it slightly. Can't quite see the uh, the dashboard on there but um, it is a very nice looking vehicle. And you can see the updated car system has illuminated as well. We've got our 909 panel just below that as well as just having a really nice interior on this vehicle. Um, you can see the locking system and the, the window buttons, they all light up as well. So overall, really, really good vehicle. I really enjoy taking this one out for a drive. I'll pull it forward slightly so we can get a proper view and it will activate the lights. As you can see, they just light up everything around them. They are really good. Oh, we didn't look at the daylight running lights, did we? There you are. So they're almost like a crystal white, a bit of blue tint to them. Um, and then, as I say, when we activate the lights here, um, we can really see it come to life. We put the sirens on. And there's three stages of those. And we'll just cycle through them as we go on our blue light runs. And our at scene lights as well. Very bright in the uh, the night time here. I might need to tune some of my settings down. And in terms of equipment, exactly the same as the other one. It will have uh, Stinger device. Uh, some cones, breathalyzer, and just the things we need for basic traffic management. These ones are fast roads as well, so they are fast roads capable. So if we're needed for any road traffic collisions on fast moving roads, then we may be asked to attend in these, but we'll make sure we're wearing our high vis. So I am joined by the lovely Mr. Shipley, who is a paramedic within our London Ambulance Service. He's uh, very kindly volunteered his services today to help uh, me demonstrate the breathalyzer to you. So I've got the breathalyzer in my hand. Are you ready, Mr. Shipley? I am. Lovely. So uh, before we kick off a breathalyzer test on a suspect, I'm hoping it's going to come back as zero. I'll be very worried, Mr. Shipley. Me too. If uh, if it has come back as anything but. Yeah. Um, but before we administer a breathalyzer test, there's a few questions we ask to ensure that it is going to come back with a good result uh, and an accurate result. So we usually ask if they've had anything to, to eat and drink within a certain time frame, and the same with smoking. Um and we also ask if there's any reason why they can't take part in the test because they might have a medical condition, meaning they can't take part. Um, in which case, we look at a different form of yeah. analysis. So, all I'll do, Mr. Shipley, is I'll ask you to take a nice deep breath and blow into this device for me, please. Right then. Now he takes a nice deep breath and blow, and we should find that it comes back as a uh, certain result. There we are. So he's blowing into the device there. Very nice. Keep blowing, keep blowing, don't stop. There we are. Yeah. Fantastic. And we'll see what he comes back as. It's just analysing. It's taking its time. And he has passed the test. I was. You had me worried there, where it was taking its time. I thought it was going to come back as negative. But, um, um, or as positive, sorry. I thought it was going to come back saying that you were under the influence. So I'd be very worried as to how you got here. But um, thank you for your time, Mr. Shipley, for demonstrating this, um, this device. As always, it's a delight to have other members of uh, of other divisions that we have here at London's Calling helping us out um, make our content and uh, Mr Shipley kind of volunteered his time to, uh, to take part in that test. So hopefully now you've uh, you've seen our vans, you've seen what they've got inside them um, and you've got a bit of an idea of the quality behind them and with our area cars as well. Um, as always guys, if you've got any questions about these lovely looking vehicles uh, or indeed about the community itself, you know where to find us. Get, leave a comment on the, this video. Join our public Discord and we should be able to answer all questions that you have. But for the meantime, I've been Chief Inspector Roberts and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.